The arrival of the M2 Pro and M2 Max MacBook Pros bring faster CPUs and GPUs performance compared to the previous generation of the MacBook Pro. However, whether its variant is an upgrade from the last generation depends on your specific needs and your usage, because there's a lot of things that have been changed. But what about if you currently own the base M2 MacBook Air? Is it worthwhile to upgrade to the 14 inch M2 Pro instead? And for those who don't own either model, which one should they opt for? Let's delve into these questions and we'll find the answers in today's video. But remember, I have everything linked down in the description below, feel free to check it out for yourself. And if you love and support the content that I make here, feel free to hit that like button and subscribe. But let's get started right here. I want to start off by talking about the size of the laptops. And that's the very first thing I will tell you. They're actually really similar. The 14 inch MacBook Pro is a bit larger with its 14.2 inch screen compared to the MacBook Air 13.6 inch screen. However, it's noticeably thicker. When folded, the MacBook Air is approximately as thick as the bottom case of the MacBook Pro. While the Pro isn't considered bulky by any stretch, the differences in thickness becomes apparent when compared directly to the MacBook Air. The MacBook Air weighs at just 2.7 pounds, while the 14-inch MacBook Pro weighs about 3.5 pounds. While the design of the Air remains consistent throughout the entire unit, the Pro incorporates slots along the side of the bottom and near the screen for airflow. This is due to the fact that while the MacBook Air lacks a substantial cooling system, the MacBook Pro features fans and a heat pipe to maintain optimal chip temperature. Additionally, the Pro offers a variety of color options to choose from. The MacBook Air comes in silver, starlight, space gray and midnight color options, while the MacBook Pro offers silver or space gray. Whichever laptop you choose, the MagSafe cable will match the color you select, in terms of connectivity. Both laptops feature a headphone jack and a MagSafe connector for charging. While the MacBook Air is equipped with two Thunderbolt ports, the MacBook Pro boasts three Thunderbolt 4 ports along with an HDMI 2.1 port and an SD card slot. The inclusion of the SD card slot is particularly convenient for those people who frequently transfer files, eliminating the need for an additional dongle. Furthermore, both the HDMI port and the Wi-Fi on the MacBook Pro has been upgraded from the previous generation, enhancing connectivity options and overall performance. The upgrade to HDMI 2.1 can support high resolutions and refresh rates up to 8K, 60Hz or 4K and 240Hz. The MacBook Pro offers a versatile display support capabilities, which is a HDMI port. It can accommodate one external display running at either 8K at 60Hz or 4K at 240Hz. Also, you have the option to run two external displays at the same time, either with two 6K displays at 60Hz via the Thunderbolt or utilizing one display over HDMI at 4K. The MacBook Air is officially limited to just one external display running at 6K 60Hz over one of its two Thunderbolt option ports. While Macs definitely are known for their gaming, the performance keeps getting better with the Apple's highlighting the gaming performance on the Apple Silicon. And this high refresh rate supports can be incredibly useful for gamers. Enough about the external displays though. The primary display you'll interact with the most is the one integrated into the laptop itself. While both devices boast excellent displays, there's a clear standout. The 14-inch MacBook Pro features a high resolution display with 3024 by 1964 pixels, offering crisp and detailed visuals. In comparison, the MacBook Air display resolution stands at 2560 by 1664 pixels. Both screens support P3 color and True Tone, yet the MacBook Pro undoubtedly offers a superior display for content consumption. Its display is notably smoother during general use thanks to the Apple's ProMotion variable refresh rate technology, capable of displaying refresh rates up to 120Hz. One of the most unexpected things between these two MacBook models lies in their webcams. The MacBook Pro has the same 720 facecam HD camera utilized which they have used since 2016, while the MacBook Air M2 elevates the standard by adopting Apple's top-notch Mac webcam with a 1080p resolution. The 1080p camera also features center stage functionality. Basically, it dynamically adjusts the camera to keep you centered in the frame as you move. The MacBook Air has a 4-speaker array, while the MacBook Pro has a 6-speaker array. The Pro not only gets much louder than the Air, but it also sounds better in general. It has more bass, while the Air speakers are just a bit tiny by comparison. The MacBook Pro suddenly gains advantage for both its thicker chases and the presence of proper speaker besides the keyboard. In terms of the keyboard, when comparing the Air and the Pro, there's not too much of a difference to be honest. 
The typing experience is essentially the same now that Dare has transitioned to full height functioning keys. Touch ID sensors still work great and are incredibly handy for accessing paths and unlocking black. Performance is a crucial aspect to talk about, and the M2 Pro chip offers a significant boost over the standard M2. In fact, it outperforms the M1 Max in many benchmarks, making a compelling choice for tasks such as video editing, Photoshop, and rendering. If your workload primarily revolves around web browsing, however, the performance difference may not be as noticeable. In terms of cooling, the MacBook Pro incorporates a robust cooling system with two fans, heat sinks, and a heat pipe to effectively manage heat generated by the M3 Pro chip. This allows the Pro model to maintain superior performance over extended periods and reduces the risks of overheating. Despite the presence of fans, they operate quietly. For those satisfied with the performance of the M2 Air, there's an option to enhance it further by applying a cheap thermal pad to utilize the bottom of the case as a heat sink, providing a slight performance boost to the M2 chip. There are numerous configuration options which you can consider, each impacting performance differently. The MacBook Air starts with 256GB of storage on a single NAND chip, resulting in slower storage compared to the MacBook Pro 512GB split between two chips. Both models have seen a decrease in storage performance from previous generations, which can affect performance, especially when exporting photos. In terms of memory and storage, the MacBook Air begins with 8GB of RAM and 256GB of storage, whereas the 14 and 16 inch MacBook Pro models start with 16GB of RAM and 512GB of storage. Additionally, there are two options for the M2 chip in the MacBook Air. The base model features 8 CPU cores and 8 GPU cores, while for an additional $100 you can upgrade to 10 GPU cores. If you prioritize the thin and lightweight design of the Apple MacBook Air line and don't require higher performance, the M2 MacBook Air remains a fantastic choice, offering more performance than the average user typically needs. According to Apple, the battery life on the MacBook Pro may not last quite as long as the Air when streaming web video. However, both laptops are reported to last for 18 hours of video playback, showcasing really good battery performance for both of the laptops. Thanks for watching my video. Remember, I have both laptops linked in the description below. If you have any questions, please ask me in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them to the best of my ability. Have an amazing day and I'll see you in the next one.